one thing to keep in mind is that you know this is a digital scale so there's gonna be times you're gonna just gonna let it settle so when you take your scoop there it's gonna be a little heavy I think I'll, I'll go ahead and kind of even out the load and place it back on the pan sometimes I've seen to get a, a little truer reading from that and after a while you kind of get a feel of how much extra to add or how much to take away in order to reach your desired load. 25.3 grains is what I'm looking for. And I just go to the next case in line, get my little powder funnel, make sure I tap it all out there, and set it for my next load. So I'm going to keep doing that. And through the magic of television, you won't have to sit through it either. Okay, all 25, oh, I'm sorry, all 50 cases have been charged. <clears throat> and so now you still want to do a visual inspection to make sure that the cases are relatively evenly filled. I'm going to have slight variations because of case wall thickness. But a little flashlight like this, you do a quick scan just to make sure. Of course, if you were to double charge this, it would overflow it because these cases are probably, well, about three quarters full right around there. So, oh, I do see though that I missed one. So let me go ahead and get back that get that case back. Okay, now all of them are filled. And I've done a visual inspection like I said with a flashlight just to make sure they're all about evenly charged. And so now comes bullet seating. And because these are boat tail bullets, you know, they, there's a you don't have to the bell or flare the mount, the case mount. You just put it in and get it ready to seat. Seating a 5.56 or 2.23 Remington bullet isn't really any different than seating a handgun bullet. Once again, you take one out, you put it up, and then you measure your maximum length, which, according to our manual, If I could find it again, is 2.260, and as you can see, it's 2.2 or 2.252, which is exactly where I want it to be. I don't want it to be max case length. So I'll go ahead and start seating the rest of these bullets. All right, and that's 50 of them right there. 50 brand new 5.56 by 45 or Remington 223. Yes, there is a difference between the two. Uh, the case lengths, uh, if you look at the case dimensions for both rounds, they are identical. Uh, the difference between 5.56 and 223 is 5.56 by 45 is loaded to higher pressures and the lead is longer uh, by just a fraction. Um, military cases tend to be a little bit thicker. Um, Obviously, they were they were cut a little bit longer, so I've trimmed them back at least to 223 Remington dimensions. So, but that's it. Uh, that actually makes 200 cases, or 200 uh, rounds of 223 slash 5.56 by 45 that I've loaded. I hope it's been helpful and educational. And uh, there are some other things I could have bought to make the process a little quicker, but I uh, you work with what you got. So, uh, leave any comments or questions, and uh, just let me know if it was helpful. All right, thanks a lot.